dyskinesia is quite difficult to define because many kinds of dyskinesia may be and or dyskinesia named by some doctors different from dyskinesia defined by some others. So anyway, so dyskinesia is a kind of uh, waste basket of many uh, movement disorders. It seems to, Korea seems to dis, dis atetotic, and the myoclonic jack is also included, so dyskinesia is not so single uh, entity. However, the dyskinesia is seen in mainly, first is mainly uh, mm, drug effect or overdose of Parkinson drugs, or maybe the late appears after the anti psychotic drugs. So these two kinds is quite a famous one. And so this is usually used or treated by the change of the treatment to a drug combinations. Or sometimes if overdose, maybe decrease of that one is disappear this kinesia. However, Parkinson's symptoms is increased. So if usually first to try to uh, change the uh, drug combination. However, if not successful, we use the DBS, deep, deep brain stimulation, for treatment of Parkinson's disease. If that is effective, maybe we can decrease the amount of drug. If so, overdose, maybe they cancel out and dyskinesia disappear. That is the uh, first way. And Another one is tardive dyskinesia, called tardive dyskinesia. That is long-term treatment with antipsychotic drugs. After that, maybe the change of brain itself cause or hyper-excitability or hypersensitivity appears in the brain or patient brain that causes dyskinesia. In that case, it's quite difficult to treat again the decrement or antipsychotic drug is the first choice. However, if decrease, maybe psychotic symptoms, psychiatric symptoms is worsened. If so, we cannot do it. So we use another uh, this kind, uh, antidiskinetic drugs, but that is maybe usually worsen the, uh, decrease the movement, however, worsen the symptoms of uh, uh, psychiatric symptoms. So that is quite difficult. In that case also, finally, sometimes very rarely we use the deep brain stimulation. So that is usual pattern we use and some disorders or original disorders cause this teenager because the implant movement is not so defined clearly. Microns, dystonia, but sometimes dystonia together with myoclonus with atetosis, and sometimes they call dyskinesia. But sometimes th that is called dystonia or myoclonic dystonia. So quite difficult to treat that in that case. But usually if you see the patient with some uh, peculiar movement, we first define what is the most the main symptoms or main involuntary movement. That is, if myoclonus, we treat first myoclonus. Or if dystonia, we did the dystonia, and treat the dystonia. And as I said in the myoclonus section, dystonic myoclonus or myoclonic dystonia is treat for trifexphenidine for the dystonia. And myoclonus, chronotherapy, that's combination of treatment, may be the another candidate for treatment for this, this kinesia.